So I thought it was really important that we have a discussion about medications and when they are necessary and how we should approach things when we are currently taking medication um, and then transitioning to a whole food plant-based diet. So in our modern society, we have a pill for everything, but especially if you are needing to be on insulin for diabetes or if you have an autoimmune disorder um, and you are on an immune suppressing drug or if you are on statins or um, blood pressure medication, all of these medications have major implications for our health. And when we go to the doctor and the doctor says that we need a medication, of course we're gonna take that medication. So I wanted to give you some um, questions and things to think about when you are deciding whether or not to begin a medication regimen or needing to start one to make sure that you are fully informed about the impact that that medication is gonna have on your life. So. You need to talk to your doctor about what's the actual percentage of improvement that you're getting from this medication. A lot of medications come with a long list of side effects that have a huge impact on your day-to-day -day life and their actual impact that they're having to diminish your risk or give you protection is actually a lot smaller than you think it might be, closer to the 25 to 30 percent range. And so if you're not getting a huge benefit from this drug, is it worth it to you to have that long list of side effects that come along with it and you need to spend time thinking about that and then you need to do some research to see if there are any lifestyle changes or food habits that you can change that will have the same effect as taking a medication now this is where it can be a kind of tricky conversation to have with your doctor because if you've seen some of my other presentations um, when you go to medical school you're not taught a lot about nutrition and you're not taught a lot about the effects of plant-based eating. And so your doctor may not know. And that's where you need to do your own research and find out which doctors are specializing in these conditions that are plant-based doctors and the research that they've shown on the impacts that plant-based eating can have. So a good place to start, um, if you are dealing with cancer or heart issues, um, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn deals with reversing heart disease. Dr. Dean Ornish also deals with heart disease, but he's also done some research on cancers. And Dr. Neil Barnard and Dr. Michael Greger um, have done a lot of research on, and looked at a lot of research on um, how, how plant-based eating affects a whole host of the chronic diseases that we're faced with in America today. So Dr. Michael Greger's book, How Not to Die, is a great place to start if you're looking for overall prevention and protection. Um, it's also really important to really get a good idea of the side effects of the drug and to know how long you're going to need to take it and if taking the drug is completely necessary. Um, because these drugs have such an effect on our lives and obviously they affect our financial situation um, and they're going to have an effect on a lot of your other body systems and so you need to have a really, really good understanding of what those risks are and make sure you really do your research about if there is a plant-based alternative because a lot of times there is. A lot of times these medications are derived from um, mimicking chemical compounds found in plants. And if you can get the same benefit and minimize your risk and improve your health by using plants, you get the benefit without any of the side effects. In fact, the side effects that come with plant-based eating are usually weight loss, hormonal balance, better sleep, less aches and pains. They're all good side effects. So if you are currently taking medication for any of these issues down below, it's really important that you communicate with your doctor when you are deciding to transition to a whole food plant-based diet. And that is because within a matter of a few weeks of eating only plants, um, you're gonna see a huge reduction in inflammation, cholesterol levels, and blood pressure, um, and sh blood sugar levels. And if you're still taking your medication, which you should be, then it's gonna drop really, really low. So you need to be working with your doctor and monitoring your numbers so you can gradually be, be decreasing your need for medication over time with the goal of being able to be completely off of it eventually. Um, but you can't just go off of it cold turkey because it will have really dangerous effects on your body and you don't want to be doing that. 
So make sure you let your doctor know what you're doing, communicate with them, and make a plan with them about monitoring how your lifestyle change and your eating habit changes are going to affect your need for your medications in the future.